Hello, and welcome back to this video series designed to help new Final Fantasy players get accustomed to the game. My name is TSDS, and in this video we're going to break down the cross-class system and cross-class skills that are used in this game. Now what do I mean with cross-class? Well, as you may have already heard, in Final Fantasy XIV you're not limited to having only one class per character, unlike most traditional MMOs. In fact, for classes, you're not limited at all. You can level every class on a single character. That's right, even fishing. When you create your character, you do need to choose a class to start out with, but once you complete the level 10 class quest of your starting class, you'll unlock the ability to obtain other classes as well. The way this is done is by travelling to another class's guild and speaking to the receptionist. I would say take a shot every time the word class comes up in this video, but I have a feeling that might kill everyone, so maybe just roll your eyes instead. Now, how do you actually change class? Well, it's as simple as equipping a different weapon. When you hover over different weapons, you'll see a bunch of three-letter abbreviations just under the item level that reflect the class or jobs that can equip them. As you can see, right now I'm a gladiator. But if I take my holy lance and equip it, I become a lancer and all of my skills and abilities change. To help you out, the game saves different skill hotbar positions for every class and job. If I move the position of one of my skills, swap to another class and then swap back, the moved skill remains in the new position. To be honest, it takes a while to remember what all of the class abbreviations stand for, but here they are for the sake of interest. Fortunately, the game already works out if you're able to equip the weapon. If the abbreviations are in green, you have at least one of the displayed classes, and if they are in red, you don't have any and are unable to equip the weapon until you embark on one of them. As a side note, each class gets its own amount of attribute points to spend as well, so you can relax if you thought you needed to share them over each class. So now we have a basic understanding of the cross-class system, let's take a look at cross-class skills, or CCS for short. That might not be the official abbreviation, but I'll be damned if I'm going to say cross-class skills a thousand times. Basically, all these are, are skills from one class that can be used on other classes. Sometimes they can be used on any class, and sometimes they are limited to a select few. You can tell if a skill is a cross-class skill as it uses a system similar to weapons. On each skill there is a list for the skill's affinity. If the skill lists more than two abbreviations, it's a cross-class skill. The reason I said two instead of one is because the second abbreviation is the job version of that class, but jobs will be explained later so don't worry about that for now. To gain cross-class skills, you must first unlock them through levelling up a specific class. Once you're playing a class different to that, open your Actions and Traits window by pressing P or by finding it near the top of your character ball list and take a look at the left side. Next to Additional will be a number out of a number. The first number is the amount of CCSs you have equipped, and the second number is the amount of CCSs you can equip at any one time. At the beginning, you can only equip one CCS, but every five levels you obtain, starting at level 5, you gain one additional CCS slot, up to a maximum of 10. To see your available skills, click the class icons for the classes you've been playing, and a selection of cross-class skills from that class will appear on the right that you can choose from. As you level a class, more skills will appear here, and each class has a decent selection to choose from. So let's take a look at the cross-class skill, Cure. This is just a basic healing spell available to the Conjurer and usable by every class, and a few jobs. At low levels, if you're playing a class that can't heal, it can be very useful to take Cure, even if it's less effective on non-magic using classes. We can click the little box to the left to select it, and now it'll appear on this bar at the bottom of the window. From here, we can drag it or pick it up with the left mouse button and place it on our hotbar where we like, and from now on, we'll have access to this ability while playing. Useful! Crafting and gathering classes also have cross-class skills, so watch out for those too. Now, there are some limitations on this system once we get into jobs, but for the basics that's it, and while I do think this is something that can very easily seem confusing, the premise is actually pretty simple. Well done for following along, and in the next episode I'll explain the basics of some of the different types of questing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.